Welcome to this demonstration of how to work with virtual machines in the vCloud Director tenant portal. The virtual machine is a piece of software that behaves like a physical computer, it has an operating system and applications installed. Connecting the virtual machine with the network and placing it onto specific storage enables cloud providers, users or tenants to deliver self-service IT services. Virtual machines can exist as a standalone machine or they can be part of a vApp within the service provider's virtual data center. In the following demonstration, we will create a virtual machine within the vCloud Director tenant portal. In the HTML5 UI of vCloud Director, it is now possible to create a virtual machine as the smallest object of workload. To create a virtual machine, Navigate to the Data Centers page and select Virtual Machines from the left menu. Click New VM. You have two options to create a new VM, either from a template that you can choose in the lower part of the window, or you can select to create a new virtual machine. For this demonstration, we select to create a new virtual machine. We give it a name, select the operating system family, and then the specific version. You can also se directly select the boot image that is taken from the media items catalog. Then select the size of the new virtual machine, which can be customized if necessary. And select the network the virtual machine should be connected to. Click OK and the virtual machine is going to be created. Once the virtual machine has been created, a number of day one and day two operational tasks can be performed by a tenant user with the proper permissions. The vCloud Director Tenant Portal allows a very granular role-based authentication model that can be customized to ensure that only users with the right privileges can add or change virtual machines. Typical day one and day two operational tasks are to power on and off virtual machines, access the console of a virtual machine or install VMware tools. Also, virtual machine properties such as hardware and network settings can be edited and media such as ISO images or other items can be provided to the virtual machine for installing applications, for example. Users can also create and revert to snapshots. Users can interact with the virtual machine on the data centers page of the vCloud Director tenant portal. In case your organization has a lot of virtual machines installed, you can switch to a list view and then filter or search for specific virtual machines. Click the virtual machine which configuration you want to review or change. Here, Everything from the name, the operating system to the hardware configuration can be changed or you can, for example, enable the feature that the virtual machine will boot into the BIOS setup during the next startup. In the hard disk section, you can increase the amount of storage the virtual machine has allotted to and you can change the network it belongs to as well. In the Guest OS customization section, you can enable guest customization as well as change the way how a domain is joined. Or you can add a custom script file for this specific virtual machine. Important here is that this will only work with the VMware tools installed on the virtual machine. Let's check out the virtual machine that we have created from scratch earlier. Since this is a blank virtual machine, we need to install the operating system first. In order to interact with the virtual machine, we select Power On from the context menu. To observe the installation of the Windows 10 operating system, click the context menu again and select to launch the web console. In this console, the administrator or user with proper permissions can install and configure everything in this virtual machine. Once the installation of the Windows 10 operating system has finished, 
the VMware tools need to be installed, as well as other applications. To demonstrate how a regular user will experience the vCloud Director Tenant UI with limited permissions, we have logged in as the vApp user. As you can see, this user is only entitled to view the new virtual machine that we have just created. The user can, for example, interact with this virtual machine by clicking the console icon. Of course, virtual machines can also be deleted by the administrator or a user with the proper permissions. The virtual machine has to be powered off in order to be deleted. Then click the context menu, select delete and confirm the deletion of the virtual machine. This concludes this demonstration of how to work with virtual machines in the vCloud Director Tenant Portal. Thanks for watching.